The next stage of your formatting will be to set the format for normal text. This text will find, form the default basis for all the subsequent text styles that appear within your document and will provide you with the foundation for doing the heading styles that will allow you eventually to create an automated table of contents. So first you will go to normal in the home ribbon and right click and select modify. From this sub menu you'll be able to modify the style and change the formatting so you have the font type that you'd like in the size that you would like and I'm sure for most of you will find this guidance within the documentation guiding on how your dissertation should be presented. So you'll change the font and the font size to that specified and you will also change the alignment to justified. Once you've done this you may want to check to make sure that you don't have too great a spacing before and after and from this you can go to format and to paragraph and this sub menu will show you the alignment, the outline levels, any indentation that's attributed to it and any spacing that occurs before or after. I would suggest at this point that you change your spacing before to zero your spacing after, in this instance, can remain at 10 point, though you may want to change it to zero. And your line spacing, you'll want to put at 1.5 to get the best paper utilisation. Again, this 10 point spacing is the spacing that occurs in between the paragraphs, extra to the 1.5 line spacing that occurs naturally now between each line and you can select OK to this and again OK to close this menu and you now have a default normal text that will form the basis for the majority of the paragraphs within each section.